Yeah, so good old days with Dennis in the old days, wasn't it, Dennis? I suppose. Uh, do, do you miss it at all, or? Yes, I, I miss the uh, I miss the guys more than anything. Yeah. A lot of them have been over here, though, and they've paid a visit and yeah, yeah, had a yeah. good time and stuff like that. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I mean, I, 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 I sort of got disgruntled with angling at one stage and went uh, went and played golf for a few years. Oh, did you golf? Okay. <laughs> but everything <laughs> everything comes full circle and, and yeah, uh, back so to golf again. So. Come back fishing now. I can remember some superb anglers from the from the London area. Yeah. Uh, one. One of the best ang waggler anglers I ever saw was uh, 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 Billy Allen. He was uh, Billy Allen. Oh. Billy Allen. Yeah. That he rings a bell. He yeah. was a he was a really good. Well, and, and I used to. One of my travelling partners was uh, Kenny Farrell, who who, uh, mm -hmm. who was very successful over a, a fair period of time. And uh, and uh, I even did a fair bit of travelling with. Uh, the, well, I call him the eccentric, Ray Mumford. Oh, Ray. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, he was... Uh, he was a good friend of mine, Ray, actually. I, I got to yeah. know him probably later on in life. But uh, yeah. tell me about him. As you say, he was a bit eccentric, wasn't he? Oh, it's, that's true. I mean, we, we, so I'm, so I'm, I'm driving into... A, we're going somewhere. I can't remember where it was yeah. now. And, uh, and uh, Ray sat there. And I can see he's, he's, he's rolling his eyes round in a circle, you know? Yeah, yeah. And I said, I said, Ray, you OK? He said, yeah, I'm fine. I said, what are you doing with your eyes? He says, oh, I'm exercising my eyes. <laughs> <laughs> uh, he was ever so funny. But, yeah, uh, he was, yeah. A lot of people did, didn't uh, no. didn't like Ray. And uh, they used to call him, because he, he basically held up the traffic, they used to call him Mumford the milk float. <laughs> oh, never the milk float. <laughs> he had this minivan that he wouldn't drive more than 30 miles an hour. Because yeah, he was, right, yeah. Uh, he was tight on the on the petrol and stuff like that. So, was he? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And, uh, and <laughs> some, some people ended up chasing him all over the place trying to catch him so they could, so they could give him a good kick in, you know? <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. I could imagine uh, that, yeah. I, I experienced uh, something similar uh, coming back uh, from Italy. Yeah. And, um, yeah, I, the port had done him out of a couple of thousand lira. Well, so he was about 25p. Well, yeah. he kicked up such a fuss over oh, it. I was uh, like, yeah. oh, my God. Oh, so. he would do. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. He was a strange one, but, uh, yeah. but you know, characters. Uh, he was uh, a character. Uh, uh, I just enjoyed characters, and Ray yeah. was a definite, uh, Ray was a one-off, you know. He, 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 I think they broke the mould with... Uh, yeah, yeah, definitely. On the, on the, uh, when they made Ray, but... Uh, yeah, yeah. He used to, of course, he used to go to all those matches with, with the collar and tie, didn't he? <laughs> yeah, 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 that's part of his eccentricity. He was yeah. Also. And he was the first one, I think, to try and push... Uh, push the pole, was it? Mm. You know, if, 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 uh, I think it was um, when he was semi-connected with the English, England uh, team. Yeah, 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 yeah. And he said, if you go and face that waggler against that pole, you're going to get hammered. And sure enough, yeah, 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 <laughs> we yeah. got hammered. You know? <laughs> uh, so yeah. he was right about a lot of things. Yeah, yeah. But I can remember Ray fishing the fish in the pole on the canals and with a crook, uh, the crook, bent bit yeah. that came out the end of the pole. You used to yeah. call it the crook, I think, elasticated crook. Yeah. And... Uh, he did okay, you know. He was yeah. a, he was a good angler. He knew what he was yeah. doing. And well, you know, he, he won a few uh, uh, big matches um, with Bleak as well, didn't he? I remember. He, <coughs> didn't he win the Thames Championship once with Bleak? Oh, he's won. He's yeah. raised won a lot of matches, but he's yeah. been most, uh, in my opinion, been mostly successful on very small fish. I've seen yeah. him. I've seen, seen him win a match. I think it was Rye. It was the, it was the Rye Festival, mm -hmm. and he didn't catch a fish over two inches long, and he. Uh, yeah. And it went on for two days, and I think he won won the entire thing. Yeah, um, catching small fish. Fly mm. festival, yeah. I think I might I might have a fish in my peg, Clive. Oh, <laughs> let's hope so. <laughs> I've just had an indication. Let's there. hope so. Because <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> he's blanking at the moment. <laughs> I've, I've set the trap, but there's nothing moved into it. No, <laughs> it'll come. It'll, it'll come. It'll, it'll happen. Yeah. Uh, and then you'll see how much elastic comes out of this pole. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm looking forward to that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, uh, but if it's a Paco, if it's a, 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 an Aesox, you're great. You can land those up mm -hmm. to double figures in weight. But uh, they're what they call the Pacos, they've yeah. got teeth. They're, they're, they're one of the uh, piranha family. That's yeah, what they are. Yeah, they, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. But they're bloody big piranhas, and yeah. they've got teeth. And they, if yeah. if, they, if, they, if, um, if they shake their head and your your hooks just inside their mouth, you've got to hook them right outside their lip. Yeah, yeah. And um, yeah, well, they, the, 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 they just bite the line off. Yeah, yeah the one I landed, I, I was lucky enough. I had him right in the corner of the mouth. So uh, yeah. But as I tried to take the hook out, I could feel his teeth. You know, I'm the mm. I'm the disgorger. So uh, yeah. 
Yeah, yeah. Yeah, no, they're, they're very, very good. No, that, that's not a fish I would stock in, in a lake if I had a lake here. <laughs> no, fair enough. They're a bloody nuisance, you know. Um, <laughs> yeah. But the tides like them, they fish wire trace. Yeah. So the problem is if you fish to catch to, to catch and to hook and land them, or the wire trace, I mean, they'll take anything, basically. They'll take a chicken heart and oh, they'll yeah. take... Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, they'll take any kind of meat, or they'll even, oh, they leave. Oh, you cook them on the bread punch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, that's why I caught mine uh, on bread flakes. So. But if you fish to land them mm. with a wire trace, then you you won't catch anything else because yeah. the other fish ain't so stupid. Yeah, yeah so. right. <laughs> yeah, fair enough. Yeah, yeah. yeah we're just talking now about uh, team fishing, and uh, you know, I asked, <coughs> I asked Dennis who, you know, what club and team he belonged to, and uh, I don't think they're going now, but it'd be interesting for any of the older anglers who listen to this. Uh, what, what was the name of the team again? Uh, the first mob I joined was uh, 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 Lick the Bite. Lick okay. the Bite. And um, we used to have a team meeting once a month, and yeah. they decided they wanted, wanted to uh, uh, have a crack in the, at the national. So we, uh, mm. we ended up um, uh, second division national on the Trent. Mm. Yeah. Uh, no, I knew we didn't have much of a chance against the local team. So mm. my only uh, my only thought was getting the fishy bait that uh, uh, I don't think it's allowed now. But um, I managed to get get hold of some uh, wasp grub. Okay, yeah, yeah. wasp yeah. grub and wasp wasp cake. And uh, mm. so if you're really struggling, have a, just have a chuck on the lead with some wasp cake and uh, see what happens. Anyway, most mm. of us managed to catch catch a chub on it. Oh. We ended when we ended up coming second. Uh, the, yeah, uh, in that's the second division national. That's that a good was, result, yeah. Yeah, mm. yeah. And then in later years, uh, uh, the group broke down a little bit, and one thing and another. I ended up um, uh, joining the uh, ABC with. Um, oh yeah, I remember them. Yeah, uh, yeah. Dicky Carr and um, yeah, Dickie, um, yeah. Johnny Brown. Johnny Brown's moved to Ireland years ago. We see he's still there now. I've been in contact with them recently. Okay. Lovely guy, Johnny Brown. Okay. Yeah. yeah. And. Um, yeah, they, they, they used to call us a team of individuals. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. Never fished to a team plan, basically. It was I think that, I think a lot of teams used to do that, didn't they, years ago? But, yeah, uh, yeah. But now the, it's but all the more yeah. successful ones. The, what I would yeah. call the, the good teams. They, they they had a definite plan, and everybody did the same thing. A yeah. bit like the England team, I suppose, to a degree. And, to a degree, yeah. Yeah, yeah. 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 And uh, yeah, they were good years, interesting times. And, yeah, and, yeah. Um, Got enjoyable times as well. You know, so yeah, this was yeah. all in the most of my fishing was in the Hertfordshire, Hertfordshire area. Yeah, yeah, but yeah. you know, we travelled up to the Trent and the Nene and, mm. and, uh, and places yeah. like that. It was uh, you, of course, you didn't uh, you didn't meet um, or fished against Stevie Gardner, did you? He was, uh, yeah. Oh, Stevie, what a great angler he yeah? was. Yeah. Was he really? He yeah, was. Yeah. I think he was ahead of his time, basically. Stevie. Yeah. He, he, uh, Superb angler, yeah, and I think he's still knocking about now. I, I think he fishes a few commercials. Um, uh, <coughs> he, I know he, um, he finished with the England squad uh, a few years ago, mm. um, but they were saying he was probably one of the best anglers never to have won a, a world championship. Yeah, yeah. You know, I, I think if, had he been around in enough events, he would have, uh, he would have mm. definitely got there. I think, well, well, he was second uh, in on Belgium on the uh, on the Dammer Canal in. Um, uh, in 1988, I think it was. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Um, yeah so that, that, you know, that was his claim to fame. Yeah. Um, of course, uh, he was next. Uh, he was in my section in 1989 uh, when uh, the Welsh team won the World Championships, mm. and uh, and I beat him. So, but uh, yeah, they all say he was a cracking, you know, very good angler. Well, you're beating me today, so you must yeah, be good. Clive. So I must be good. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Dennis. <laughs> <laughs> I meant to. Uh, <laughs> oh, I don't know what this is. There was a packle or another. Could be a cap. I'm not sure. Slide and float.
Try and get a glimpse of it if I can. <laughs> Oh yes, uh, Aesop, another Aesop. Yep. Oh well, my third one. Beautiful fish. Look at that. Look at the colours on that. Yeah, it's like a mullet's mouth, really. It's a lovely fish. Probably another five or six pound. Put him back. Dennis, 3-0! Yeah. <laughs> Tell the way he's sort of nodding his head. It's like um, short nods, like you know. Swipe. Oh. No, I think this is definitely feels like a broad, broad type of fish, you know. Thing is, did you say that they do bite you off? Yeah. Oh, hang on, I just felt a little ping on the line then, as if it could be a dorsal fin. No, it's a big pack of, I've just seen a big broad side of it. Oh, hold on. <laughs> it's bigger than this one. It's a bit yeah. difficult with that one, isn't it? Yeah, because he's off. Try, try not to get your stop uh, through the top ring or you've moved them anyway. Yeah, they, they move now, so they Do they, do they don't sort of want to give them something? Definitely stronger than carp, aren't they? Mm. Like a bream body. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this is where you lose them here, normally. Yeah. But that eight pound line might be doing the job, you know. Mm. It all depends where they hook. Yeah. Oh. Bit right through the line. That's right, yeah, yeah. Exactly what happened. Just bite through yeah, the line. Yeah. But it won't be the first time. No, I, I tell you, I nearly had it then. I think if if I took a chance and pulled it at once, I might have got him. Like, you might have got him, yeah. Yeah, but I think I messed around a bit too much. Then. Yeah. Oh, look at that! Bit right through. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Amazing. I'm in again. <laughs> it's fight like sting. Oh, he's come off. I think another piranha bit me through. Oh no, I pulled out of it. Yeah. I'm on a barbless hook like, but uh, that's okay. Oh, well, that was a sway. <laughs> What's that now? Is it six or seven nil? Uh, it might be 
<laughs> there you go. <laughs> Good fun, though. Okay, just had <laughs> just had another paku. Just going to show you his teeth if I can. There. Good set of dentures, aren't they? There, huh? the hell. Do you want to see? Do you want to get bit by one of them? <laughs> How many is that now? Is that about 10 nil now, isn't it? <laughs> oh, there you go. <laughs> you want me to give you a coaching lesson? <laughs> okay. I'm going to set this one up there. I wanted to set up before. What are you going to do? Oh, you've got like a feeder float, is it? No, no. Yeah, I'm taking that off. It's not getting okay. Yeah, so anyway, I thought I'd have a five minute break. I've had enough fish, fish at the moment. Well, you're worn out by now. Worn out. I tell you what, they're hard work getting those bloody fish and they don't give up, do they? Yeah. Bloody hell. So, anyway, it's something uh, I'd like to talk to you about, Dennis. Uh, we mentioned uh, before, didn't we? How it's funny how some people used to draw the same pegs all the time. <laughs> <laughs> I, know, I know I don't like to talk about controversial things. But I can't help myself. <laughs> I'm not sure we should go into that. We're not sure we can go into that. No, it's just funny that the same faces uh, used to draw the same pegs all the time, and uh, where some of the people trying to win this um, Kamasan qualifier, where they used to have two draws, um, you know, on the same day, apparently, in some cases, and uh, other cases they'd have um, if they didn't do a draw very well in one match, they'll shoot off up the road and try and draw it again just to get the Kamasan points. And Dennis has seen it all. <laughs> That's all right to be quite up, frankly. <laughs> I've seen the basic two sets of pools at the, at the same venue to try oh. and get a better draw. All yeah. oh, right. Yeah. So, well, so basically, they, uh, some people used to um, pay the pool twice. Is it? Yeah. They, they would pay their pools and they would draw. All oh, right. And, and they knew the venue, so yeah. It was pretty obvious that they weren't going to do very well from that area, so they would. Pull up again. Pull up again. Oh, right. And hopefully draw another bad one. <laughs> no, yeah. Create two empty pegs, yeah? Oh, and well. then go home. And then go home, yeah. yeah. Unfortunately, uh, you know, I, I don't know. I mean, perhaps the, this day and age is a bit easier. I, I know that um, as a fish, the Warwickshire Raven uh, at Twyford and um, Evesham, and a lot of that sort of double drawing used to go on there. Um, in fact, I remember one guy, Martin Folks, he was a car dealer. Uh, you know, he was um, a, a professional gambler, and uh, I remember many time him drawing the same pegs as uh, you know on the weekend that it was fished on the uh, midweek and that had won the match. But uh, God rest his soul, he's uh, gone now, Martin. But uh, he won a bad angle. That was the funny thing about it, you know. Well, there you are. He knew how to work the odds. Yeah, you know, you work the odds. <laughs> oh. Well. Unfortunately, I'd never be like that. I just take my chance, good or bad. <laughs> well, you're Welsh. You would, you would never pay two sets of pools, blind. No, you're bloody right. I could afford it. I could afford two sets of pools. My God. <laughs> oh. uh, it's good fun. You're chewing away the old fat of the old days. <laughs> uh, we've gone past it now. Dennis is way into his seventies. I'm sixty-nine, so. Uh, be nice to catch up with Alf tomorrow. He's 80. I bet he got some stories. He was telling us about where uh, somebody got clubbed on the head of one of his fisheries he used to run. <laughs> That'd be good. Come back, list of that one. <laughs> yeah. Okay, Dennis is going to show us this feeder that uh, he made. I didn't. I just. It was my design. I it was your design. Yeah, yeah. Many, uh, many years ago. Uh, it was originally yeah. meant to have only one eye. Oh, okay. In the middle. Yeah. Yeah. So you would tie this onto your main line. Yeah. Maybe have a three-way swivel or whatever. Yeah. And then, paternoster style. Right. So that came down through one of the eyes. Yeah. And so you would bait it up as normal. Yeah. And then you would pull the, yeah. pull the hook length. Back, right. so it sat exactly on top of on the, top of the uh, feeder, like on you. top of the feeder. Yeah. Okay, which is similar to what they do now. It's just yeah. that they use a mould now, and mm. yeah, they, and they do they a put, mold, yeah, yeah. They put the bait in first, and then they that's put right. the yeah. ground bait, so that so the yeah. bait is always sitting on top of the. Uh, yeah, that's it. Yeah, so yeah. it's a 
The same thing, just with a different. Uh, yeah, of course, yeah. But that was like 30 years ago. 30 years ago, yeah. Of course, it's doesn't it, you know. A yeah. little innovations, and all of a sudden, you know, they, yeah. they sort of. You the know, place that we're going together. to tomorrow. Oh, yeah. You can fill that. <laughs> right. We use them on the way we do, yeah. Yeah, chuck yeah. it out. Yeah. And with a short hook length. Yeah. And it'll come back sometimes, yeah. like that. Oh, where the fish is bloody. The, the fish is actually t the, the fish is taking the whole feeder, <laughs> bit the bloody feeder. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh. So that's how you get them back yeah. sometimes, dead flat. Yeah. yeah that'll be interesting tomorrow. I'm, I'm, I'm looking forward to tomorrow, but uh, I don't know. If, yeah. You know, it's obviously a lot bigger fish than what, uh, I'm used to. So. Well, there's a there's, there's a lot of different sizes in there. But yeah. I think you'll enjoy it, Clive. Yeah. Oh, there's the uh, we found the. Oh, you found the scales. That's what we were looking for before. We yeah. found it. Oh. Well. I don't need them now because uh, <laughs> I'm giving you a battering today. <laughs> oh, yeah, we don't need, we don't need any. Don't need them now. <laughs> I've, yet, I've yet to get a proper bite. Yeah, well, yeah. No, right, plenty of time. We've still got, got those. But I have had to do interviews and things like that. Oh, gosh, you have, yeah. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm just going to, I'll just quickly show you what I'm doing. Um, I've got a, a BB, okay, which is about, I suppose, 12 inches from the hook. Then I've got the bulk on my uh, tie waggler. Yeah, so it's sliding basically uh, up and down the line, and I've got my stops, yeah, third of the way down the rod. So my guess is that's that's probably about I don't know 12, 15, 14 foot. But I've made a marker, so I'm, as I say, I'm dead on the bottom at the moment. So let's go and give her another go. Another Aesop. Beautiful. That'll be about five or six pound. Okay, here we go. So he's going to demonstrate now this puller system. I've already pulled it. <laughs> oh, you've already pulled it. <laughs> <laughs> you got to pull it some more. But all I knew, there's elastic shot out about 50 yards, like. <laughs> and now he's just. Um... Right, so he's pulling that elastic. So, what is that elastic anyway? It uh, looks like a bloody. It's, a, it's, a so, it's the latest solid one. Yeah, one what of the was it about? From England, 18 yeah. or something? It's got to be 18 or something. No, I don't think it's. I'm not sure. Yeah. Well, I tell you what, that fish came in quite quick then. Yeah. Oh, you can bring them in quicker with a pole, definitely, by the look of it. What do I'm landing at? Oh, got it. Oh, he's landing. I'm getting no help from my friend here. No, 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 I'm, I'm filming, I am. <laughs> <laughs> you never give me a, a bloody help. <laughs> yeah, but you were so, no, far, <laughs> so far in front. I know. Yeah, he's putting all this elastic out, look. So... There you go. Have a strong pole for it, mate. They just don't give in, do they, these Aesops? Like... They tend to swim around when they're in front of you. So I yeah. And I tell you what, I noticed, you, well, you had that on a punch, but I've been having all mine on a flake. Yeah, no, but the punch works better, Clive. Does it? Oh, yeah. OK. Yeah, because they've got a small mouth, haven't they? Yeah, they've got a mouth like a mullet and a body like a chub, I think. Yeah. That's the best way to describe them. Yeah. They so, quite a lot better than a chub. Yeah, they're like a grass cap. I think a grass cap is yeah. sort of longer. These are more got more depth to them, like you know. They're beautiful looking. Yeah, look, oh, they're beautiful red colours on them, aren't they? You know. Yeah. No wonder they're uh, they're well fished for these. Yeah, got him. Should have him. Yay! Hooray! First one today! <laughs> and he had to come in my swim to catch it though. <laughs> your, your swim, there's not any, there isn't any in mine. <laughs> anyway, well done. You don't like that, do you? Yeah. As you say, like a bloody big chub, isn't he? <laughs> yeah, they're very slimy as well. Do you think we can hold them? Yeah. 
in the corner of the dog. Bad mistakes, yeah. Yeah. Beautiful fish. Mm -hmm. oh, I've got the hook in my hand. Yeah, looks out. Bring him back. Beautiful fish. Mm -hmm. Cut. Well done, Dennis. That's well, easy when you're in the right spot. <laughs> yeah, I'd be doing the ground meeting. <laughs> <laughs> Another Paco, it's a big bug, isn't he? Look at the size of my hand, Ed. Just give it some sort of idea. Five or six pounds.